Welcome to the Fredericksburg Center for Creative Arts, FCCA, March 2022 National Exhibit with the theme, Start with Green. I'm Carol Morgan, the curator of the Frederick Gallery. Uh, please come and visit in person when our gallery is open on Monday, noon to four, Thursday, Friday, noon to four, Saturday, 11 a.m. to four, Sunday, one to four, and we're open late till 8.30 p.m. on first Fridays. Thank you to our videographer, David Kennedy, for taking these wonderful videos, and to Olivia Sanderson, our publicity chair, for posting on our Facebook page and on YouTube. During the March FCCA Members Gallery exhibit will be a solo show featuring Suzanne Lane. You're invited to visit our exhibitions in person and enjoy original art in our historic home, the Silversmith House, where art and history meet. The FCCA is located at 813 Safiya Street in downtown historic Fredericksburg, Virginia. Gabriel Pons is our juror of the Start with Green All Media Exhibition. Gabe loves art, design, and skateboarding, and since the age of 13 has been pushing his abilities in each of these fields. In 2010, he and his wife Scarlett opened the Pawn Shop Studio and Gallery, a multifaceted storefront at 712 Caroline Street in Fredericksburg. They operate their business with the belief that creativity fosters a stronger community, and they share their passion by teaching art classes and hosting art exhibitions. Gabe works with clients in a range of mediums, from custom paintings to site-specific murals and installation. He gained his Bachelor of Architecture degree at Virginia Tech. You can find Gabe at Pawn Shop on Instagram. Welcome to the FCCA, Gabe, and thank you for providing us with your expertise as you selected this exhibition and awards. I introduce to you, Gabriel Pons. Thanks, Carol, for that introduction, um, and welcome to all participating artists. Um, as Carol mentioned, I'm Gabriel Pons, uh, your guest juror for this month's show, um, Start With Green. As a juror, it's always kind of both intimidating and exciting to, uh, to select work for a show. Um, and very briefly, the criteria that I used uh, for this show's uh, jury selection was pretty simple. Uh, number one, I, I always kind of look at the work uh, on its own, each piece on its own kind of merits in terms of both the technical and conceptual end. Um, but also when I'm judging work uh, for a show, it's also important to look at all the pieces together and see how they uh, speak to one another almost as an ensemble, uh, knowing that uh, they'll be kind of occupying the space here uh, at FCCA. Um, I'm always looking to make sure that the work kind of, they, the work speak to one another. Um, on top of that, finally, um, with the theme of green, for me, that was just kind of a starting point, um, a way to uh, put a design parameter in place for the artist that they all kind of, once again, uh, are on a level, a level playing field, if you will. Um, most importantly, uh, I always look to work that speaks to me as the viewer, meaning that um, a lot of the, uh, the pieces in this show uh, really communicated, whether it was an emotion or feeling, um, or also took me to a place uh, or told a story. And that was really exciting. So uh, on behalf of uh, FCCA, I congratulate all of you that are participating uh, and thank you uh, for participating in this show. And kicking off the honorable mentions, the first piece is Transforming by Chris McClintock. It's a photograph on acrylic. Um, I really enjoyed just the dense uh, geometric composition of this piece, as well as the use of the photographic medium to kind of capture the spirit, uh, almost the uh, chaotic spirit of the kind of metamorphosis, uh, if you will. And our next honorable mention award goes to Sally Roan Kuberic for her piece, Morning Sun Through the Window. Um, what I really enjoyed about this piece was the playful stacking of shapes to create a composition. Uh, I myself am a collage artist as well as a stencil maker. Um, so this piece really spoke to me because 
Granted, there's a great kind of architectural structure to it. Um, if you look close, once again, a, I would say a very playful play of shapes and forms to make the, the greater whole. Uh, congratulations, Sally. And our next honorable mention award goes to Rebecca Visker for her piece, Chained. Um, I really enjoyed this piece. Um, I think a successful piece of art um, kind of interrogates the viewer or in fact, ask the viewer to interrogate the painting. Uh, and this one is a perfect example, um, really strong composition, use of space, and of course, color. Um, but it leaves me asking the question, what's the story? And actually inferring the story. To me, that's really rich. Um, congratulations, Rebecca. And finally, our fourth piece is Forest Glow by Kimberly Zook. Um, I really appreciated this piece because of its uh, initial simplicity, but also density. Uh, and in keeping with the theme of start with green, um, it has a lot of neat forms, almost trans... I, I thought at first that they were translucent or transparent, kind of stacked on one another, uh, which ended up to be just an elegant watercolor. So congratulations, Kimberly. Our third place award goes to Svetlana Lakina for her piece Snowdrops, which is constructed of quilling paper. Um, as a former architect, I really appreciated the use of the paper material uh, for this piece, both in terms of its kind of elegant and delicate forms, uh, as well as the great structure and use of, once again, color. Um, congratulations, Svetlana. This piece is really, um, when, I, when I viewed the piece in the jury, um, initially I was drawn to it uh, because of its intricacy. Um, but I invite the viewer to look at it both near and far for its beauty because it's something that can be appreciated um, both close up as well as from far away. So congratulations. And our second place award goes to Kim Richards for her piece Rest, which is an oil painting. Um, good work, Kim. What I really enjoyed about this piece um, was aside from its kind of technical um, aspects, of a well-constructed oil painting. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, narrative, allegory, uh, all of these things kind of uh, come into this work uh, to read as a very kind of just fascinating composition. Uh, it was a joy to look at um, as a little icon uh, thumbnail image on the computer screen when I was judging it. Um, and I'm really pleased to see it here in person. It surpasses my expectations um, altogether. And, um, congratulations. And our first place award goes to Heidi Reeses for her piece Kitchen Window January, which is acrylic on canvas. Um, this piece really resonated with me. Number one, of course, it, in conforming to the, um, to the parameter of starting with green, obviously it has a very lush green feel to it. Um, secondly, I was really impressed with its use of um, just really sensual forms to describe uh, the shapes and, and composition altogether. Um, it made me really want to be in this room uh, with the plants. Um, and I think that kind of duality between being in some place rendered as so warm and inviting on a January day is really fun and interesting as well. Um, congratulations, Heidi. Good work.
Gay Ponds for his very informative juror talk. I think we all appreciate an explanation of why a juror selects work and why they judge some pieces as the best, the second. It's such a difficult challenge to select so awards after you've already selected the exhibition, which means these were the best that were selected to be in the show. So thank you for your time, your expertise. We really enjoyed it and we encourage visitors to come in and see this beautiful exhibition, Start With Green at FCCA. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you. Appreciate it. The Fredericksburg Center for the Creative Arts, where art and history meet.